Good. Thanksgiving is here. Time to gather around a table, hopefully with your favorite people and reflect with gratitude. Minus the gravy, we're doing more or less the same thing here on Thanksgiving Eve. But with the NBA in mind, here's what we're most thankful for this NBA season. I'll go ahead and start with the Washington Wizards. That's right, the Wizards, because a lot like stuffing the first time you visit someone's home for the holiday, you just don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> Will they show up and play hard? Ooh. Will they be terrible? Will they be great? Ooh. Last night was the perfect example. Down 24 to the Clippers, of course they came back and won. Over the past few seasons, the Wizards have made audacious claims, coordinated their outfits on game days, come within a game of the Eastern Conference Finals, suffered inexplicable losses, and apparently have now played themselves in a position where the entire <laughs> team is tradable. <laughs> <laughs> right there. I, as a broadcaster, am just thankful for how consistently interesting the Wizards are. So we don't need no salt and pepper for this one either. Nothing. Huh? <laughs> Love the gravy. I'm going to tell got? you what. What you got? And this takes a lot out of me as a Michigan guy to, mm -hmm. to commend another guy from that school up the street. But I'm okay. going to go with Draymond Green. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you, Draymond, for turning this NBA season into something other than a coronation for the Golden State Warriors. You know, we they got, they got all these issues going on, all this drama thanks to Draymond. One little spat with Kevin Durant, and he's turned the narrative upside down. No longer do you have people telling you, uh, who cares what happens during the regular season? Come June, it's the Warriors party. Well, maybe, maybe not. But Draymond has given us a little something to chew on at Thanksgiving other than turkey. This is, right. this is good drama, good, healthy work chaos, courtesy of our man Draymond Green. I like it. Mm. Now, for me, guys, because y'all know my background is being a three-point shooter. I hadn't heard that. You hadn't heard that before? No. Well, they, is that they, true? They, they, my nickname is 3D, man. That's what they like to call me, <laughs> and I earned it for a good reason. But to see the rest of the NBA in today's NBA shoot all the threes they shoot, to know the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets have shot more threes than four or five teams in the whole NBA. And guess what, Matt Sekou? I am finally letting go. For you four and five men that are shooting threes, come out to my zip code. As long as you work on your three-point shot, I'm no longer mad. I'm happy because you guys are starting to make them. Joel Embiid, all you big guys, Brooke Lopez in Milwaukee now, keep letting it fly. Speaking of the Bucks, they're on pace to yes. hit nearly 500 oh more threes than last year's the team. Are yes. 500. Bud ball, Bud ball, let it go, wow. baby, Bud ball. Well, you just mentioned him. I am thankful for <laughs> Joel Embiid, the entire Joel Embiid platter, in fact, which comes loaded with all the hoop nutrients you could possibly <laughs> ask for and a heaping helping of dessert. There haven't been many players in the league's history with Embiid's combination of talent and personality. Mm. He puts up numbers, he takes names, going after opposing players publicly, <laughs> punishing them on the floor, all with a smile on his face to make sure we're all in on the fun, whether it's a holiday <laughs> or not. There's nobody Ooh. quite like the process. Joel Embiid. No question about it. Oh, man. I, I was worried we were going to have to wait until the trade deadline okay. to take this one topic off the menu. And then the basketball guys intervened. Jimmy Butler uh -oh. got traded before Thanksgiving. I was getting tired of coming yes. here on Wednesdays and listening to Matt. Yes. Whining, moaning, complaining. <laughs> Matt, you got the same old questions, huh? I was getting tired of it as well. <laughs> do we have to do it? Yes, we uh. have to do it this one last time. Jimmy Butler in Philly. He gets to go hang with Captain Troll Joel Embiid and troll the rest of the Eastern Conference. See if they can't make noise on the court now instead of off the court. Thank you. No more Jimmy Butler. Second that. Thank you. Well, my last one's real simple, guys. I want to thank Adam Silver at the top and all the players and all you guys on Monday night. It's real simple. <laughs> it's players only, baby. I'm very thankful we're back for another season. So for all my crew, y'all know what we do. Only players. I'm only the players for you. <laughs> only, only the players. Only the players. Uh, thank you, Mary Tisha, because that went viral, too. I'm also <laughs> thankful for, uh, for pie. Yeah. Pie. Ooh. I, I like never go wrong with pie. Apple. Apple. Sweet potato. Huh? Pumpkin pie. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know where to send them. Uh, much more coming up. Speaking of those wacky Washington hey, Wizards. Hey, players only, baby. It's Monday, baby. Around the corner, baby. Okay, we've, yeah. we've combined elements from this segment into one promotion for Monday night. Coverage starts at 6.30 Eastern. Oh, I get a chance to go home.